Hello, welcome to the Friday, September 25th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Ever ran into some obfuscated PowerShell script and had a real hard time analyzing it? Well, you are in it for a treat if you are following Xavier's diary from today. Xavier is going over PowerShell ISE, the integration scripting environment that is installed by default on all current versions of Windows, just like the default PowerShell interpreter. But what's really different about PowerShell ISE is the fact that it's a full interactive debugger. What you have to do is you have to load the PowerShell script into PowerShell ISE and then you can step through it and essentially decode or let the script decode itself until you can actually read or extract whatever shell code is in it. Now, Xavier has a big warning here. Be careful when you do this and best, of course, to do this on a separate uh, environment, a separate uh, system. Because of course you don't want any malicious uh, PowerShell script uh, to execute on a production system that you also have corporate data on. And if you would like to know more details, Xavier is walking you through a sample script step by step. So real nice uh, little uh, post here uh, to follow along and uh, do the analysis yourself with Xavier as your guide. And yes, it is happening. Microsoft announced via its uh, Microsoft Security Intelligence uh, Twitter account that they are seeing active exploitation of the zero logon vulnerability. So again, this was CVE 2020-1472 against the net logon EOP vulnerability. Of course, I mentioned it already a couple times, so everybody here should be aware of it and hopefully is patched. Then we got a couple smaller updates from Apple. First, we got a macOS Catalina 10.15.7 and security update 2025. This one fixes four different vulnerabilities. One I believe I mentioned in the podcast, at least I uh, looked at it uh, before uh, I created one of the podcasts this week. And uh, this was a logic issue that uh, could potentially leak uh, files uh, through the sandbox restrictions that uh, macOS offers. Uh, this was uh, discovered by Adam Chester with Trusted Sec. In addition, we also uh, got actually a minor update to iOS 14, 1401, as well as watchOS and tvOS, but uh, these updates do not have any security content. These are sort of very typical small updates that Apple releases after a major update fixing various small bugs that came up. And we do have an update for iCloud for Windows, which fixes a single WebKit vulnerability. So none of these are super critical. I would say uh, definitely apply the Mac OS update. Data updates are really fixing more functional bugs. And Checkpoint discovered a critical vulnerability in the Instagram app for Android. Of course, a very widely used app. And in order to exploit the vulnerability, an attacker would only have to expose the victim to a malicious image of all things. Now, an attacker exploiting this vulnerability would only be able to have access to the phone as whatever privileges were assigned to the Instagram application. But sadly, Instagram is one of these applications that asks for quite extensive permissions, like, for example, access to geolocation, access to the camera, of course. So it could certainly be abused as a spy tool at this point. 
The root cause of the vulnerability is the way Instagram uses an open source JPEG library mods JPEG in order to exploit the vulnerability. A victim has to load a malicious JPEG image into Instagram. Now, how this is accomplished? Well, uh, the attacker would have to trick the victim somehow to do this by first sending the image uh, to the victim. The sending doesn't have to use Instagram. That could happen uh, via email or maybe via a web page as well. Facebook, which owns Instagram, has already released an update for the Instagram application after it was notified by Checkpoint of this vulnerability. Well, and that's it for today. And don't forget, if you're interested in any classes that I may be teaching, I'll be teaching two in October, the intrusion detection in depth class, as well as the defending web application class, one US Central Time, one US Mountain Time. Just uh, check uh, the show notes and on the top, you'll see a list of the classes. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.